Well, I wanted to mention no effects because they're going to come up a little bit later. But yeah, were they on your radar back then? Like, were you listening to those Epitaph bands in 1992? When Offspring Smash came out, the Epitaph Records still only had one guy in the warehouse shipping out everything. One guy. So when Smash took off, John hired a couple of friends to, to help in the warehouse, and I was one of those guys. So I started working in the Epitaph Records warehouse um, uh, in 94. Um, so that's kind of, I'd heard of no effects and stuff, but I had, I didn't really pick up on them. Um, but that's when I got my crash course and, and all that, all, all those bands. Um, so yeah, that's kind of when I first uh, got into no effects and stuff. So I was, cause I was shipping out their records too. And, breaking them by mistake um <laughs> yeah that was a funny job yeah once i backed the forklift into a whole pallet of offspring cassettes i just i damaged about 600 pieces just in one thing i i used to unload i used to drive a forklift and unload a truck on busy santa monica boulevard at vine i can't believe i did that now um um i had that job for like inside of a year but um yeah yeah that's when um that's when they first signed Rancid and all. I mean, I remember, uh, and I, again, I was working in the warehouse and I remember I got a call from, from Tim from Rancid after they left the warehouse saying like, we didn't realize that was you. We love the Muffs record. Um, let's think about that first record that you love. All those bands love that record. Um, you know, we later did a, did a warp tour and, uh, that's when I realized I always thought we were very, you know, Oh, if people just heard us, they would like us because we're so we're infectious. Let's realize in front of a big crowd, uh, you know, we're not like anti-flag or whatever. Um, you know, meanwhile, all the band members would be watching us. You know what I mean? But uh, that's 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 much later. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's our first no effects. And then obviously um, they asked Kim to sing on um, on that song on Punk and Drublick, which is a little later. Uh Kim was a backup. I don't, you probably know that story because you're a fan, but you know, they originally Jennifer Finch from L7 was going to do it. Went into the studio and then wanted to change lyrics to make them more mm. PC or something. Uh, we love Jennifer. No no offense to Jennifer. But no effects. Like, you know, it's not it's been working out. So yeah, they, they brought Kim in and Kim nailed it. And, um, and she sang with them live um, once. Uh, they did... Uh, Oh God, it was an anniversary of Epitaph and they did these three nights at the Palladium with all the bands and Kim sang Laurie Myers on stage with them. Um, and from that point on, people in no effects sh shirts start showing up at our shows.